Hey everybody, how you guys doing? Welcome. Today is uh, the real Tony. Everybody wants to see the real Tony. They haven't seen the real Tony in a long time. This is the real Tony. Everybody want to see what's happening with my hair. Um, not everybody, but a lot of people want to know the true real Tony. This is the real Tony right here. I'm keeping it real. My hair is looking crazy. My beard is looking crazy. And I've just been just been in a mode of uh soul searching i guess you want to call it i've been soul searching for a long time and uh you know i learned a lot over the 59 years that i've been here on earth and i'm still learning you know they say uh you know they say come to god as a child so i come to god as a child i just kind of went back and stopped thinking about all the things that i know and that's one of the things that we think we know today's date is the um it's the 10th yeah, it's the 10th of January, 2023. So this is my first video for 2023. I don't go for all the, I used to go for all the New Year's, the big New Year's thing, and uh, I didn't do any New Year's stuff. Um, like I said, I don't really celebrate the, holi the holidays or anything, but New Year's is kind of different because it's not really a, it's a new year. It's a new year for everybody. But the New Year's resolutions, the parties, and all that kind of stuff, I don't get into like I used to. I used to dress up, go to clubs, go to, you know, buy new clothes, and go out on New Year's and party it all up like everybody used to do, right? So, yeah, I used to do that. But now it's about keeping it real. So I'm keeping it real. So this is the unveiling of Tony McDo. You want to see me? Boom. You see my hair? Is, I got some dreads, believe it or not. Some big, thick dreads because I haven't been doing anything with my hair. My hair has got a lot longer. I used to wear the high top fade back in the day. People used to know that. Then I pull off my hair, you can see looking pretty uh pretty bad i haven't um done anything with it so this is the way i look people want to know what it looked like you know and it's just <laughs> kind of terrible in, in comparison yeah i could cut my hair off i could do whatever i want to do but you know it's not about that and that's why i'm making this video I'm making this video to reveal the real tony from cali or tony McDo. So, um, I just wanted to make this video not to talk about technology and cars and all this kind of stuff. Um, I still am excited about technology to a certain point, but I don't buy into everything that's happening. There's a lot of things that's going to be happening in 2023, that's going to be happening in 2024, and, and on and on. If this world continues, um, it will continue, but maybe not the way people think it's going to continue. I don't have all the answers myself. I'm still searching, but uh, I'm learning from different people. I learn from just different people. I don't want to put myself in a box and say I'm just even a Christian anymore because the word Christian has been uh, damaged. The word Christian has just been damaged and people, everyone wants to be a Christian. Everybody wants to be a uh, black Israelite. Everybody wants to be a different uh, religion. So I don't put myself in a box of being a religion, but I do believe in Jesus Christ. There's lots of names for Jesus, Yeshua, and Yeshua, and, and the Hebrew names, and I'm still learning all those different names. But I don't think that's a major, a major thing either. Um, I think knowing that you know, the Son of God came here to save us is the most important thing. And I think that knowing Him directly, having a connection with Him, having a connection with God, having that connection is more important than any church, any type of uh, organization. So I don't put myself in a big box. I don't have a big following of, of people and where... Uh, you know, yeah, I got, you know, you guys can subscribe if you want to subscribe. And, you know, they always say that, right? So subscribe, like, and subscribe. But I don't have a big following. I don't, I don't push that. That's not my, my narrative. Um, my goal is just to be real, keep it real. You know, the last couple of videos, the last probably 10, 20 videos I made, if I've made that many, I'm not, not, not 20, maybe about 10 videos, were about the broability. Yeah, the broability, uh, 
Mobility, mobility, EV F-150 scooter. And I'm still tweaking it and doing things. It runs and, uh, and everything. I still got to do some work to it, but it still runs. And that was my 2022 project. And I want to be able to move on. I want to say this is 2023. I want to be able to do other things. So my goal now is to get a car. And I want to get a car and I want to convert it. So I'm looking at a Scion right now. Um, I think that would be a, a, a decent car for me. I don't need big trucks and all that kind of stuff. I used to have trucks, Cadillacs, all kinds of cars back in the day. The first car was 1973 Riviera. That was my mom. She gave me that car. I love that car. I would like to get another one of those one day, but I don't think it's going to be in the cards for right now. Um, it's raining right now. It's storming. I can hear the rain coming down. And you may not be able to hear it. That's okay. I'm just using my little wireless microphone. And uh, I just want to keep things real with everybody. Uh, I'm not using no new mirrorless digital camera to make this video. I'm just using um, an old camcorder. I'm just letting you guys know this is an old camcorder I'm using. So if the quality isn't up to standards, who cares? I got some shadows in the background. I'm not using a lot of major lights. I'm just using two Walmart lights from, from Walmart and the existing light in the room. So people that want to know about video and they want to say, oh, man, what do I need? You can just use your phone. Use your phone. You probably get better video than I'm getting that I'm producing right now. And I'm not shooting in 4K either. I'm shooting in 1080p. So um, keeping it real is what this video is all about. Exposing myself once again. Look at that. I got, man, I got some dreads in my hair. My hair is looking pretty crazy. Um, I usually don't. I usually kind of tie it up put it in a ponytail, make my video, whatever, um, unshaved, need to shave and trim all this stuff and all that kind of stuff. That's, that's not what I'm making this video for. I'm making this video to be real. This video is keeping it real. This is bro life. Okay. We'll call it bro life. Number 14, bro life 14. Now let's call it bro life 2020. Let's call it bro life 23. Cause we're in 2023 and I'll go back in and I'll fill in some of the other other numbers, I guess, maybe later on. But we call this Bro Life 23 for 2023. 23 for 2023. Um, several months from now, be, be June. Well, you know, uh, was it six months from now? Not six months from now, uh, five months from now, be June. And I will be, if I live that long, I'll be 60 years old. I'll be hitting the big 6 0. Um, 59 years old. Been on this earth for 59 years. God has given me 59 years of happiness. You know, just being alive. A lot of people are not making it. They're not alive right now. I just had a friend pass away. I talked about that on my last video. And uh, my condolences still go out to his family. I still think about him all the time. You know, there's just so many people are not making it. I got friends in Vegas. Uh, that are still alive, but I got friends that passed away in Vegas too. I had a couple co-workers I worked with, they just died. One of my friends, he died at 40 years old, came home and died right uh, at his home. He died right at home, 40 years old, great buddy of mine, Phil Watson. If you guys are watching this video, you guys know who I'm talking about. Me and him used to work together and we had a lot of fun on the job and uh, we used to crack jokes all the time and I remember he passed away at 40 years old. And I don't even know how many years ago that's been now. It's been probably probably 10 years ago when he passed away. Well, I think we was about the same age. And I was a little older than him. I was probably, he died at 40. I was probably 49 at the time. I don't remember. But I just know that um, I know it happened, and um, I'm just so sad to hear about a lot of my friends passing away, and I could be next. You know, this could be the last video that I make. I'm keeping it real. We've got a lot of storms out here in, in Sacramento right now. Um, we just had pa people pass away. We had some people get caught up in the floods um, out here in California. You heard about all the crazy trees falling down. Trees are falling down everywhere. I had to move branches and move giant branches just to get through the roadway. Um, blocking the sidewalk 
Um, I still be rolling my mom's uh, <laughs> mobility chair. She has a mobility chair. I still be rolling that. And uh, I had to clear the sidewalks off just to get through. Couldn't even get through. Big old giant branches, trees falling down, trees falling on top of the apartment complex and things like that. So I'm just trying to keep it real. This video is for me to keep it real as possible. A lot of people want to know my status. They want to know a lot of things. I'm trying to help my dad right now. My goal is to be a happy, humble, holy servant of the Lord. Okay? And when I say that, it doesn't have to be that order, but happy, holy, humble servant of the Lord. And that means whatever God wants me to do. That's what I'm supposed to be doing right now. Am I supposed to go out and interview people and dance around and do the things I used to do? You know, God has a has a has a bigger plan for me. Uh, I'm not trying to start no huge church and have no big mega church and uh, take from the people. I'm not gonna. I want to do what's right, what God wants for me. Uh, serving Him, serving the Lord, serving the Lord Jesus Christ. And like I said, a lot of people might disagree. A lot of people may not have no belief in, in the God or Lord, but I do. So that's why I'm making this video. I'm making this video to, because um, I can't sleep. That's another reason. <laughs> no, but I'm making this video because it's um, early in the morning. I think it's 4 o'clock right now. Wow. Yeah, it's 4. Let me look at my 4, th 4.13. Y'all see the time there? 4.14. 4.14 in the morning. Keeping it real. So, um, this is the time when I do a lot of praying. I do a lot of praying. I'm always praying. You know, my dad, he's up praying right now. And this is the time that we do a lot of praying. And uh, you ever heard of the prayer room? So he goes in the prayer room and pray. And then I'm usually in here praying in the morning. And we have a, a, a schedule. And then sometimes I'll, you know, I'll step all night. Sometimes I step all night and just, um, of course, we watch, I watch a lot of YouTube videos. I'll keep it real. Watch a lot of YouTube videos from technology to crime to all kinds of stuff. And the reason why is because I've always been an independent journalist. I've always been uh, the kind of person that want to know what's going on in the world, but not too much of a politician, uh, a politician political events I'm not too big on the political events um, but I like to know what's going on with people I'm a people person so if somebody gets hurt somebody gets a plane crash or somebody does something even extraordinary something great or fantastic I like to know what's going on and I don't always put every story out there because there's stories to put out every couple seconds there's a story to put out but I do follow some stories and I do post a lot of stories so that's my news program I call it world broadcast news okay breaking news or breaking world broadcast news so whenever I put that out there that's just something that I looked at like it could be an article it could be uh, uh, from another news station and I just post it and rather than talk about it because uh, I've found that I don't want to talk about every subject um, and the other part of it is just that I don't have the time you know, we have to spend time for other things. My time right now is prayer, getting right with God. This is my mom's Bible right here. This is my mom's Bible, okay? It's an old, thick Bible, okay? Got pictures in it. She got all kinds of stuff in this Bible, okay? And I still, I just started really, really, really getting into it. And I don't know everything about the Bible, but that's my mom's Bible. And I'm going to read some um chapters this morning um, have I read the entire complete Bible no I have not uh, do I plan on reading the entire Bible I would like to but it's not just about reading the entire Bible and knowing every scripture it's about living the Bible living the way God wants us to live that's my my theory my belief um, it may not be yours, and that's okay. Um, am I trying to convert people? No, I'm not trying to convert anybody. Um, is it God's plan for me to speak to people? I believe so. That's why I'm making this video. Okay. Uh, I'll have lots of video cameras and 
cell phones and things like that to make videos with so why not use the tools that you have I've been faithfully using the tools that I have to build my scooters I just organized my tools yesterday and I think they call it a heart heart toolbox from Walmart I got that like two years ago or something like that and uh, one of those roll cases it says heart that was the, that's the Walmart brand I'm going on to a different subject I know but all my tools from, were basically from Walmart. And I, the reason I'm saying this, I'm putting it out there, is because and the, and the tools were hyper tough, hyper tough tools. And the reason I say that is because uh, I don't have no, uh, I'm not trying to brag. I'm not a, I don't have a shop. I don't have a, uh, a garage uh, like, like these guys when they're building their cars and doing things that they want to do. That's why I wanted to start a company. Uh, and now that I look back at this, uh, I look back at life and last year, 2022, uh, do I really want to start a company? Do I really want to get out there and build things for people? At least I thought I did. Maybe it's not in the cards. Maybe it's in the cards for me to just be a happy, humble, holy servant of the Lord, taking care of my dad and uh, doing the things that I not normally, I would not normally do. You know, I'm doing a lot of cooking now. Never was really into cooking. Uh, to be honest with you, I've never been a big meal maker. You know, I always had a girlfriend or a wife or someone that did a lot of, a lot of the cooking for me back in the day. Uh, so I was never, I was just a guy that just wanted to do stuff quick, make sandwiches all the time, make some, get something done so I could get right back to my computers, get back to my technology, get back to my cameras get back to whatever I want to get back to and I wasn't a big meal person but now I'm starting to cook more I just cooked a couple of steaks um, a couple of days ago matter of fact I said I might eat one this morning I just ate um, steak and eggs or something like that you know sounds good right about now it's too early I think but you know it's kind of enjoyable I should say because I was always on the move for the last you know I say the last five years I was on the move doing a lot of stuff, just not even that, you know, just on the move. And I was, uh, not the last five years, but five years prior to the last three years of being, you know, out here in California. So I've been in California for a while, Sacramento. And I started off visiting my mom on her birthday, came out here in 2020. And uh, been out here ever since. So a lot of people are asking, Tony, when are you going to go back to Vegas? I don't know. I don't really don't know. I don't have the finances to go back to Vegas. And I don't have the, uh, uh, even the motivation. Um, I've accumulated a lot of stuff out here since I've been out here. And like I said, I'm taking care of my dad. Got a lot of cameras, a lot of cameras. Um, and it's just really the time to just kind of look at life a little bit more rather than traveling and you know, I live in Vegas for about 18 years and I uh, loved it out there we used to go to all the different shows the conventions the NAB is coming up right now National uh, Association of Broadcasters convention is coming up it just popped up on my on my phone and on my computer and I used to love to go to those conventions drive around on my, with my broadcasters I used to call them broadcasters right because I was broadcasting as I was driving around, mobile broadcasters. I had all kinds of different scooters, and I used to use walkers, and I used to have all my camera gear. Go back and look at some of my videos, people just tuning in that don't know me. That's what I did all those years. And now, I'm just looking like a, I don't know what I'm looking like, right? <laughs> but it's okay. Because this video, like I said, is about keeping it real. That's why I'm making this video. And um, I don't want to take up too much of your time. I just wanted to say, hey, you know, my, my goal is to be right with God, to be holy. I'll say that again, to be holy. Because a lot of people look at that a certain way. They may take it a certain way. I used to look at it like, okay, well, this guy, what are you talking about? I want to be holy. No. To be holy, to be righteous, to be... Uh, to be right uh, Jesus said that you know we should want to be like him we should want to emulate him you know 
no, we're not perfect. No, yes, I made a lot of mistakes. Yes, I've done a lot of things that maybe I'm not proud of, and you have to out there. But you can still get right with God. Because the reason I'm saying a lot of this is because we are in our last days, whether you want to believe it or not. Um, I don't claim to be this great prophet that I know this gonna all these things that are going to happen. I've watched a bunch of these people on YouTube that talk about things that are going to happen. And, uh, you know, I think some of them are right. Some of them are actually right. And some of them may be a little bit off in other areas. But you can learn from anybody. You can learn from a criminal. You can learn from somebody that's out there that did some bad things. And you're like, wow, I don't want to do that. And that's what I mean. Not learn to do what they did, but learn to do what they didn't do what not to do so you know all these killers and stuff that they're catching they just caught the uh, guy that killed those four college students oh man that was so sad and he was a, a criminal um he went to school for criminology or something like that you know a criminology and you know all these cops they've been catching a lot of cops that are doing a lot of bad things and it's like catching up with them. Things are catching up with them. Maybe they get away with it for a while and it catches up with them. And just like the guy that killed those four college students, I think it was three or four weeks before they caught up with him. A month, two months, or something like that. That was sad. So you can learn from that. Not to do what they did, but to learn, the wow, how bad is the world getting? You know, what are, what are people uh, doing just to survive? What are people doing nowadays? And uh, it was a girl that just got shot in the head. Uh, dang, where was that? No, that happened a while back. That happened in 1994. I'm sorry. I got a lot of stories just sort of bouncing around in my head. I posted that, though. The girl got shot, like, in 1994. And her, um, her husband had set her up to get killed. Okay? Um, her husband was a fireman slash, I think he was, like, kind of a cop and a fireman. And he set her up to get killed. He's getting executed today. That's the reason I'm bringing that up, because it just popped up on my uh, um, YouTube or Facebook it was YouTube and he's getting executed today so he's been in jail for like 30 years and he's been in prison I guess for 30 years and he's getting executed today so when I look at those stories I'm like man that was very awful that that happened and yeah, I think he had like three kids two or three kids and uh, you know everybody's waiting to see him uh, executed today not everybody but the the close family members are going to be standing by to see him be, get executed today. But you can learn from that. And what I mean learn from that is like, wow, you know, all the extreme measures he went to do, to, he paid people to kill his uh, wife. Not something not to do. Okay? You don't want to do nothing like that. I don't want to do nothing like that. I don't even think about nothing like that. And um, it's just sad. But it shows you in the type of world that we're in. People are doing anything they want to do when they want to do what they want to do. And that's why I'm making this video because I've seen so many tragic stories. And I still watch them even this morning. I'll be probably watching more. Uh, a woman got killed in her tent uh, a couple of days ago. Well, two homeless people got killed so far that I know of in the storm that we're in right now. This big, rainy, crazy, flooding storm that we're in, trees falling down on houses and cars and smashing cars and houses. And, you know, people don't want to believe in anything nowadays, but, you know, your life is at a stake. Your life is at stake. People don't think that, they think when they die, they die. A lot of people think that. I don't believe that. I do like believe in the heaven and hell. I believe in judgment. I believe we're all going to be judged. And this is the time really to um, get right because you don't know there's so many young people dying, teenagers and uh, it was just a couple days ago, a guy was six, I think six years old, yeah six year they said six year old, he might be six year old kid or sixth grader um, I got two different stories one, one story they said he was six years old and the other story they said he was a sixth grader so went to the school and shot his teacher, okay, the kid went to the school and shot his teacher he didn't kill his teacher. She was in critical condition. I think she's okay now. I gotta uh, follow up on that story, but I think she's okay. And that's the kind of world we live in. A six-year-old kid got mad at his teacher and went and got a gun from somewhere in his parents' home or whatever and killed, not killed, um, 
shot his teacher. So that's the kind of world we live in. She was 30 years old. Teacher was 30 years old. She might have told him, hey, you can't do this. You can't do that. He just went and got a gun. So our days are numbered on this earth. We don't know how long we're going to be, you know, here on this earth. We don't know how long we're going to be alive. We don't know how long. And I just tell everybody, you know, pray. Ask for uh, Jesus to come into your life. Save you. Be born again. That's the thing. People don't believe in being born again. But if you read in the word, it says the only way to get to, to enter into the kingdom is to be born again. It says that, okay? I don't look for the scripture right now because you guys, you know where it's at. Hopefully you, don't, you do. If you don't, look it up. I need to look it up. But um, I was born again back in, uh, back in the 90s at uh, Calvary Christian Center. That's when I got born again. I'll keep it real. I don't know exactly what year. Um, I should be knowing that, but I don't. But I know that's when I gave my life to Christ, and that's when I believed in uh, Christianity and the whole nine yards. And like I said, you know, Christianity nowadays, people have uh, put a big stain on the name Christianity. Um, am I a Christian? Um, you know, I want to... I, my. I don't know the titles that, and, and I want to talk about this. Titles is, I don't think a big, uh, big thing. People want to have a title, a lot of titles. People want to say they're a bishop, and they want to say they're a prophet, and they want to say they're a pastor and a apostle, and all these different titles. And I don't think the title thing is that important. You know, the Pharisees had lots of titles. The guys who actually uh, crucified uh, Jesus. Okay, the Pharisees were guys that were so holy and had titles and knew the laws of Moses and you know and and when Jesus came they was looking at him like he was crazy he was like hey you know what we're not gonna listen to you you know you ain't even got no house to live in you know you're going from place to place <laughs> I'm not laughing about that but I'm laughing about that's judging a person so much that that's what they did they judged Jesus and say, hey, you ain't got no house, you ain't got this, you ain't got that, you don't have the riches that we have, we don't have, and you going around, but he was, man, Jesus was bringing people back to life. Who you know can do that? Okay? He brought the little girl back to life. I don't know her name, but I read it in the Bible last night. No, I watched it on, I actually watched that on uh, The Chosen. Watch The Chosen. The Chosen is a pretty, I think The Chosen is a pretty uh, uh, good TV series they just came out with. If you can watch it, it's free. I'm going to say it again. Read my lips, it's free. The Chosen. I've been watching that on, uh, you have to watch it on your, I've been watching it on my computer. You can watch it on your computer or Amazon or Apple device. So I'm not a sponsor for it. I should be. But I've been watching The Chosen. I watched, all, I watched five episodes last night. That's why I probably look a little tired. My eyes might be looking a little bit red. I don't know. But I watched five episodes yesterday. Uh, last night, but yesterday, uh, yesterday, uh, and um, I watched that, but I cross reference. I go back to the Bible, like I said, I go back to the Bible. I'm gonna go back to my mom, this is my mom's Bible. I'm gonna go back to my mom's Bible today, and I'm going to look at some of the things that I watch. I visually watch things because the movies and stuff they can change movies and stuff, they can alter movies and uh, modify them, of course, you know, to kind of tell their stories and the things. But it gives you, I like the chosen because it gives you more of an insight into the apostles and just people it shows you how people react to certain things you might say something and you might make somebody mad or somebody might make you mad or whatever and that's part of life and just because someone makes you mad don't mean you got to go get a gun and go shoot them okay just because you don't you disagree with somebody don't mean you got to go out and get a gun and shoot them and that's what kind of world we live in today <sighs> you know there was a i guess a trump supporter that was a black Trump supporter, you know, years ago that got killed. And I don't know exactly when he got killed, but I think I posted that too. I might have may have posted or not posted it. And it was sad. He got killed right in his uh, front. Uh, he owned a business and he was a, he used to, um, he owned a sign business and he used to make signs. I think, I don't know if he made them by hand or had machines or whatever, but he used to make signs and he had a building and he was making signs and he was, um, 
I believe religious. I don't know what religion he believed in or what, you know, all, all the details on that, but he got shot and killed. I think they shot him several times and he was just sitting in a chair in front of his business. He was 59 years old. 59. I'll say that again, 59. And I'm 59, okay? As a matter of fact, he looked similar to me. He had the beard like I got right now. And he had, uh, I think he had some dreads. I got dreads. He's got some dreads. And it just, it just automatically reflected towards me. You know, the things that he may have said, the things that he have done, his lifestyle. I don't know what he, I don't know a whole lot about him. I don't even know his name right now. But you can pull it up. It's probably on my Facebook. And it just kind of is sad. Uh, he was just sitting in, in, in front of his home or in front of his business and got shot and killed. So that's precisely the kind of world that we live in. That's what I wanted to talk about. And I'm just using these stories because they hit me. They hit hard. It makes me, it, it makes me think, wow, I'm 59 years old. Wow. You know, I'm not perfect. You know, I may have said something to maybe to offend somebody or something. I don't want nobody trying to come after me or nothing like that. But if they do. I want to be right with God. You know, that's my main focus. If something even, you know, there's so many ways of dying nowadays. Um, you can die in a car accident, a plane accident. Um, somebody can kill you. Um, fentanyl, okay? Um, taking a wrong drug. Uh, there's people right now getting depressed and they go out and they're taking all kinds of different drugs to feel better. I don't recommend that. And I recommend, I recommend prayer, knowing God and praying. But people are, are taking drugs and doing everything they, they can think of, and they're uh, supposedly committing suicide. And some people, they say there's a lot of suicide, but I, I don't believe that, you know, <laughs> uh, some of the suicide is not really suicide. Some people are just getting taken out, and, they're in there and it's being called suicide, and I'm just keeping it real. And a lot of people don't want to uh, believe that. A lot of stars, a lot of actors. A lot of celebrities, not just celebrities, just normal people too. So, um, the world, that's the world we live in. You don't know what to believe nowadays. Uh, I was going to put some green screen up behind me. I got some green screen over here. I was going to pop my green screen up, throw it on some thumbtacks, and I was going to give you some nice backgrounds and, and put some better lighting up. And I said, you know what? No, because it's about keeping it real. This is keeping it real. I just told you guys, you know, it's early in the morning, 435, okay? been talking for a while. 4.35 in the morning. Y'all see that? 4.35 in the morning. I still got stuff popping up. Ringo TV. You guys ever heard of that? Ringo TV? <laughs> he cracked me up. I like Ringo TV. He's kind of a... I think he's one of the black, black Israelites. But he... Um, he's got a lot of information. And he gets information. And he's got his own little podcast show. It's pretty nice. And he kind of breaks down things on his show and you know I mean I agree with everything that he says but he's got some very great points and I, I, I watch him I've been watching him and I've been watching uh, this other girl this African girl what's her name uh, Carrie Ann <laughs> she talks really really fast I know I talk fast too sometimes but she talks really fast and she has her little slogan in the beginning of her each one of her videos and then I usually just skip to that because it's the same. It's the same thing. She kind of basically, uh, uh, it's her foundation video. Like you have a uh, what do they call it, uh, like a header on your video. So that's like her header on her video. But she just talks real fast. But she's come up. She says some things that make sense. And that's what I'm saying. You can learn from everybody, different people. Um, I go back to the Bible first. Go back to the Bible. I mean, you might see something that pop up on TV, but you go back to the Bible and you cross-reference it. You cross-reference it, okay? So you don't just take that, 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 that if someone gives you information, you don't just go with that information and say, yeah, this is what I'm going to do. I mean, sometimes I actually do that, you know, especially with YouTube being so popular. Um, sometimes you just kind of, you kind of know what you want before it happens. So if I'm cooking and I want to know how to do this or how to do that, I'm like, how could I prepare? I might watch like, five videos and I'll say, you know, this is the one I'm going by. Or I might take little bits and pieces. I might say, you know, this video, this guy had a good way of, 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 of breaking something down. This guy had a good point. This guy had a good point. I'm going to take a little bit of this, 
a little bit of that, a little bit of this, and a little bit of that. And then I'm going to make my own uh, dish or whatever. I'm just giving you an example. So when it came to me building the scooters and the Brobility scooters, I watched hundreds of videos. Guys doing uh, mountain bikes and razors, uh, razor scooters and from razor scooters to razor, uh, what do they call it, off-road little uh, motorbikes and upgrading them and upgrading ATVs and kid ATVs and all kinds of stuff. And I watched all of these videos and I came up with my own system. I said, you know what, I'm going to go this way. And I procrastinated on it for a long time. I keep it real. I procrastinated on it for a long time, you know, but I uh, didn't have all the tools. You know, tools is very important if you're trying to uh, build something and you don't have to have all these fancy tools. Sometimes you just need the right tools. So when I go back to speaking about, I told you we were going to talk about technology, but I throw that in a little bit. Um, the right tools. When I say the right tools, the right heart. The right heart. I hit my microphone. Sorry about that. The right heart. The right spirit. You know, we're spirit beings. And we don't want to believe that we're spirit beings. We want to believe that we're something else, maybe. Aliens. We get all this energy from the world, the ionosphere, whatever. A lot of people want to believe that. A lot of that's true. Some, some of it's true uh, based on science. But, you know, I go back to God. I go back to God created the earth in six days, seven days, and he rested. You know, I believe that. He created the land and he created the sky and the birds. And, you know, we have come so far in technology that we don't want to believe that. We just want to believe that we were planted here by some aliens or something. I don't know. Some of us, that is. But I go back to taking it back to, from the foundation. God created us. God had a purpose for us. God wanted us to worship him. And God had commandments. God had rules and we've broken those rules not just black people or white people but everyone's broken these rules america's broken these rules and they're still breaking the rules and the world is becoming more um you can do what you want to do anybody can do what they want to do eventually and that's what the world's becoming um i used to my favorite movies back in the day watch a lot of sci-fi movies the terminator the terminator is now here <laughs> I'm not saying there's a robot going around killing everybody and going back to the future and all this stuff and going back in the past, but robots are here. AI technology, artificial intelligence, robots, AI technology in your cars. They're making race cars now to drive by themselves. They just did that in Vegas a couple of weeks ago. I don't know if I think I posted that. I might have posted it. Yeah, they posted it. It was on World News. And they got these race cars that drive by themselves, 150 miles an hour. And you're talking about if they can do that, then they can make a car where it'll, it'll drive you from city to city. You want to go to L.A., get in a car, it'll just drive you to, to that car, drive you to that city. That's what we're working towards. That sounds good, huh? It sounds good. It sounds great. But then they're going to tell you about how many accidents are going to happen <laughs> in that prototype uh, level. I remember Tesla, when they first came out with all these cars that came out, and uh, self-driving cars, but you still had to have your hand on the wheel, supposedly. But there was a bunch of people getting killed. I don't know how many, but I do remember a couple incidents. I remember one guy running underneath the, underneath the truck. His whole head got cut off. That was sad. His whole head got cut off. He ran underneath the truck, and he was, like, kicking back, and he was making all these videos, and he had just got one of the, you know, he was, the Teslas that just came out, and he was kind of bragging about it a little bit, and he was playing video games, and he was kicking back, and, uh, the sensors on the car somehow didn't understand that there was a big semi that was turning and the semi had a big solid color and the, the, the car just thought that was just the, the sky or whatever. So the car went right underneath the car. It just went it smashed into the side of the truck and then the whole roof got cut off. The guy's head got cut off too, I think. Very tragic. I remember that when that came out. That was back like 2000. I think it was like 2016 or when that happened. When I remember watching that videos, might have been earlier. Do your research. Speaking of research, 
when I tell you I watched all these videos on how to build electric vehicles and all this kind of stuff, we're not talking about months. We're talking about years. You know, years and years I looked at all these different videos and how guys were building these uh, electric vehicles and cars and scooters. And I just kind of put in my head, I said, this is what I'm going to do. I took bits and pieces. I said, I'm going to use this motor because it's accessible to me. It's affordable. I'm going to use this motor. I'm going to use this battery. I'm going to use this motor controller. And I'm going to put this together. And I'm going to use, I need an ATV frame. That's what I, that's what I want for my foundation. And I found one. That's a Suzuki. I told you I wasn't going to talk about technology, but I lied. I got a Suzuki LT185 from 1984. Read my lips, 1984. And I, I found it. And I told the guy, hey, I'll give you one. I traded a camera for it. I'll keep it real. People are like, well, did you have, how did you have the money to do that? And everybody's always asking, well, how did you get the money to do this? And sometimes it's just trading. I go back to the old days when people just barter, trade. You might need a video camera. And I'm like, okay, I got a video camera. I got a bunch of video cameras, but I don't have money. So I traded the guy. Uh, I made an offer, offer up. And I said, okay, I'll give you this video camera. And I traded him one of my video cameras. Sounds simple, huh? Sometimes, uh, you know, I searched and searched and I searched and I wanted, I was looking at go-karts and I was looking at, I was looking at ATVs and I was going to use a go-kart, but I preferred an ATV because I wanted something that was going to be higher, something that was going to be able to support my body and stronger. So I started looking and looking and looking and looking and looking. I've been looking for years. And then, uh, you know, I got that ATV and the guy wanted like, I think he wanted like 300 bucks for it. He wanted 300 bucks. So I gave him $300 worth of camera gear. I just gave him a camcorder. Uh, actually, it was a, a, a DSLR, old DSLR camera. And I gave him that camera and uh, came with a lens and came with a light, a little video light, gave him a video light and chargers and things. And he was happy. And then uh, I had another, I needed a mobility scooter in order to put the two pieces together. So I did the same deal. I offered, I said, I got another camera. I uh, offered it to another guy who had a mobility scooter. I looked at mobility scooters, and then I looked at ATVs, and then I combined them. And then after I got the two pieces, I said, well, I'm going to need a motor. I'm going to need an electric motor. And I was able to get a couple dollars together to get a motor. Got a motor, and I'm going to need a controller to go with it. So I got the motor and the controller and all that kind of stuff in a little kit. And then I was able to get the battery. I said, I need a battery. I still need more batteries, so if you guys want to donate, don't hate, don't wait. Go to my cash app, dollar sign Tony McDo. I still need some more batteries. Um, but uh, the vehicle is running now, and once again, that was 2022. But we're in 2023 now. So 2023 uh, is about keeping it real. Once again, this is Bro Life. We call it Bro Life 14, I think I call it. No, Bro Life 23. Bro Life 23, because we're in 23. We're just going to call it Bro Life 23. We skipped the other numbers. Watch a lot of YouTube videos of people that they may make a video this month and then three years later they'll make another video. Okay? So it's a big gap in between there. And people want to see, you know, their progress. And um, I've done the same thing. I made videos and I haven't made a video in a couple months or whatever. But they make a video where it's like, okay, they're working on something. It could be a project and you want to see the next level of that project. And they say, oh, in our next video, we're going to tell you how we did this and we did that. And they don't never make that next video. So I don't want to lead anybody on and say, uh, that's going to happen. I'm making the next video. It's going to be about this. It's going to be about that. I don't know what the next video is going to be about. It could be about eating some chicken. <laughs> you know, and that's what happens with these guys, the YouTubers and people that are not really into YouTube or whatever. They make a video. Uh, building something and I look at it and I, and I try to follow the next video and there's no follow-up it's just the next video they're on vacation or they're doing something else or maybe they don't even have a video camera anymore so you know you can only follow people to a certain extent but God can follow you all the way he knows everything that you've ever done so that's where uh, the difference is you know people want to have a uh, even uh, investigators, the guys go out there and they investigate all the different crimes and everything else. They can only investigate you to a certain level. 
There's lots of technology now, yes. They can investigate you like they found about that guy that kills uh, college students. They got his DNA or they saw his car being driven over there like 12 times and things like that. And uh, based on the, the GPS tracking and his phone and all this kind of stuff, they can investigate you to a certain level and then get cameras and stuff to verify that as well. But God can see everything. So he knows everything you've done. Even if there's no cameras around, there's no GPS tracking, he knows everything you've ever done. So just imagine that, a being that knows everything. A being that knows everything you did ever since you was a little kid. He knows when you went and stole a little candy bar. He knows that. And nobody else might not know that, but he knows. So getting right with God, that's what this video is about for me. And hopefully this video helps other people out there, helps you guys out there as well. Because uh, I don't know what's going to happen from day to day. I can't promise. Uh, that's why I like the chosen the guy, Jesus in there. He was like, I, I can't make any promises. I can't make any promises. He told people what he want, wanted to happen. He told them about the, his commandments. He told his apostles and stuff what was going to happen. Certain things. He didn't tell them everything, but he told them certain things. And I like the last season, uh, what was it season three that we're on right now? I watched five episodes, and he was telling the apostles, hey, go out two by two and do this and do that. And they didn't want to do it. They really didn't want to do it. And this is the only, this is the only uh, movie, I should say, or television show that I've seen that where they kind of get more personal. And they show how the apostles reacted, you know, because you watch all the other Jesus movies. I watched Jesus of Nazareth, 1977. I love that Jesus of Nazareth movie, I know. And people are going to say, well, Jesus, you know, he wasn't black and he wasn't, uh, it doesn't matter. I watch it from a visual standpoint to under, to, he wasn't black, he wasn't white, it doesn't matter. I watch it from a visual standpoint to know that he was a man, but he was also God. He was here for us to save us. And it didn't matter. It doesn't matter whether he's Mexican or black or Hebrew and people get too much caught up in it, all that. I don't get caught up in that. I get caught up in to why and how that's more important um how and why however you want to say it it's just like if i tell you hey i want to build something i'm going to need a battery i need a motor you need to know the how the why you don't need to know the color of the wires that i'm using makes sense you don't need to know that i'm using uh an orange wire or a red wire for the output of this and the output of that or you don't even know you need to know what the what type of motor it is I can tell you it's a DC motor and you can kind of put that in your head I can give you more details on the motor but you don't need to know every detail so when it comes to religion and it comes to um, once again like getting right getting right with God just sitting there and just praying you know closing your eyes and praying and asking for Jesus to come into your life you know you can do that right here you can do that in your home Ask for Jesus to come into your life and, and really mean it from your heart and really believe it. And you can be born again in your own home. You don't have to go to no big mega church. You don't have to go to T.D. Jakes and, and Cuffalo Dollar and all these big places and Joe Austin and I can just name more and more. You don't have to go to those mega churches to be saved. You can be born again in your own home. Four o'clock in the morning, five o'clock in the morning, whatever. Pray and ask for God to come into your life and be born again. And they say be baptized too. I guess you got to go somewhere and get baptized. I don't know. You know, you can go. <laughs> I'm just, I'm, I'm laughing because I'm just, I got a visual just now. This guy went, got baptized. I, I put a, I posted that the other day. Be careful where you're going to get baptized. You want to be so spiritual and so holy and you're going out to some special place to be baptized. He went out there and got baptized and it was uh, alligators. It was alligators in the, in the swamp, wherever he was. <laughs> he jumped out of that mug quick. <laughs> Yeah, I got a sense of humor. I'm sorry. I got a sense of humor because that's what I do. I keep it real. Tony from Cali, Tony McDo, doing what I got to do. I'm still the same person. I still got the same spirit. Uh, I don't have the same actions, okay, that I used to, you know, I'm not 20 years old anymore. 19, 20 years old, I don't do the same thing as I used to do. So uh, once you get older, a lot of times, there's a lot of young people out there that are very, very, very smart, very intelligent. And they, they, they know where they're going. They know their direction. I didn't always know my direction. 
You know, I believed. I said, okay, I'm going to do this. I want to do this. I want to be a technician. I want to do this. I worked in a lot of different companies, do the Packer, Packer, Bell, Apple. You know, um, I can go on and on and on. And I worked for a lot of different companies. And I can show you my resume and build up a nice technical resume and all that kind of stuff. But it does not matter. That's what this video is all about. It does not matter about all these great things that you've done and your uh, political background or your religion or your titles all these titles don't matter and i'll go ahead and say my, my my old title i used to say all the time computer animation three-dimensional holographic digital video broadcast special effects engineer slash senior audio visual telecommunication specialist slash broadcaster not broadcaster broadcaster not broadcaster broadcaster not broadcaster of my reality show born in 1963 on hd hp tv stands for helping people tv handicap production holy production and many more productions coming your way i used to say that all the time i think i just added some other stuff on the end but when I say that, it was just because I just kept on saying it. It was practice. And I did that for fun. And I did that to make myself feel better at the time. Uh, because I didn't have certain titles that I wanted to have. I didn't have those uh, degrees that I wanted to have. I didn't have that. Uh, uh, I just wanted to build myself up. It was a way of building myself up. And it reminds me when I just said that of uh, Sister Carrie Ann, they call her Sister Carrie Ann. I think she's African or something, uh, uh, or I don't know what she is, but she sounds African, African uh, accent. And she talks like that. She talks very fast. That's the way I just got through talking. Can you understand everything I said? Can you remember everything I said? And if I break it down slower, then you would be able to understand. But I was into computers at the time. I love computers. I used to build computers and build them and design them and modify them and put them in different cases and all kinds of stuff. I used to make all kinds of crazy computers back in the day before they uh, got popular. Uh, I used to make, I made a computer one time out of uh, uh, Tupperware, out of Tupperware. And now they, they call those mods nowadays, people are making them out of kind of stuff, lunch boxes and Tupperware and all kinds of stuff, trash cans. You can make a computer out of anything. It's just about, about getting the right components, some motherboards and trying you know, your, your, your memory chips, your motherboards, your processors, and, and just building it in anything. I was building, uh, I had plans to build these multiple computers way back in the day. I was going to build computers out of toys for the kids. So they have it in their room. It was going to be like a camouflage computer. You wouldn't even know it's a computer. It was going to be a computer that looked like a tank, and then a computer that looked like a truck, a computer that looked like a car. And I was going to just build computers. And then you had a screen that would pop up somewhere or something. I thought it was kind of ingenious, and I just kind of backed off of it. I mean, you know, some things I just I lost interest. You know, and this was right before I moved to Vegas back in 2000. Uh, I think it was like 2003, 2002, and I was going to be building all these fantastic computers. I had draw, I had draw all the plans. I had plans to do all this stuff, and the plans got lost somewhere, probably in one of my storages. And some of the plans that I wanted to do, some of the things I wanted to achieve, they never happened. So when you look back on that, do you regret though, these things? A lot of people do. I used to regret the things that I wanted to do, and now I don't. And the reason I don't is because some of those things you find out they're not important. What's important is life. I'm making this video right now at 4 o'clock in the morning, and this is important to me because you can't be promised in tomorrow. You don't know what tomorrow, if tomorrow is going to be here. You don't know if you're going to be here next week or next year or next month. New Year's resolution, that's great. This year I want to do this, I want to have a big business, I want to do that, I want to do all these different things. But you don't know if that's going to happen. You can get killed going down the street, walking down the street nowadays. You get killed sitting in front of your business, sitting in front of your house in a lawn chair. Car can just run up and boom, kill you. So what's important is life. Treating it like it's real, like it's valuable. Waking up, thanking God. You may not know God. You don't have to know all the scriptures. You don't have to know all the different prayers. You know, it's just let it come from your heart. I wake up, I say, thank you, Lord, for, for a new day. Thank you for this, my life. Thank you for me breathing. Thank you for me being able to have food today. And one of my main things I tell my dad and I tell everybody out here, I said, thank you for a roof over my head and a bed. That's not the biggest thing to maybe thank God for, but I say that. I say that every day because it puts me more in a humble state of mind. Some people don't have a, a bed. Some people don't have a roof over their head. So I think about other people that are out there. You know, you know. I used to be out there. I used to be 
homeless for a while, for a, for a while. And I, you know, I, when I came back out here to California, I started appreciating things differently. Not looking at the great things that I wanted to have. Yeah, I still got the broadcasting museum, still got a lot of cameras, keeping it real, storage. Still would like to do that, but on a different level now. I'm not interested in the, the amount of money that can be made from the broadcaster museum. I'm not interested in all that kind of stuff. I'm interested in just being right. I like my cameras. I like some of my equipment. I like some of those things, but I can't, I'm not going to go to hell for it. You know, I'm not going to uh, put that before God. And sometimes we do that. Some of the things that we have, our possessions, you know, we, we, our possessions become idols. No, I'm not going to let that stuff happen. You know, the camera I got right now, this is a nice little video camera. I like it. I remember getting this not too long ago. But I can't put it before God. God has to come first. And that's where we have to figure out where we are, what we, what we, what we really need. Not what we want, but what we need. What's going to make us happy? What's not going to, you know, we not, might not be happy all the time. I may not be happy all the time. Sometimes I'm sad. Sometimes I'm a little down. Everybody gets down. Everybody gets a little sad and depressed. And I'm not going to, I'm going to tell you this. Everybody's talking about the mental, what do they call it, uh, mental health. And you get sad and you're depressed and people go out and do crazy things. That's true to a certain extent, but everybody has a mental health issue. Everybody has some type of mental health. So don't let that be the excuse. So many people are going out there and doing things and you know, they, they automatically put a title on it. This is another label. Mental health. Okay. What happened to Tony McDo? Mental health. What happened to this person? Mental health. No. Everybody has mental health. That means you have, you can think, you're thinking, but let your thinking, don't be stinking thinking. I remember that back in the day. Don't let it be stinking thinking. You know, you get information, you can get information all day about guns or you can get all information all day about cars. And then, yeah, you're going to be thinking about that all the time. And then something can come in and say, hey, you know, you, you can't have that and you can get upset. You know, you could lose your job. You could lose an arm. You could lose a leg. And now you can't go to your job no more. So now all your plans of uh, having a successful business or going skiing or whatever you want to do, Maybe those plans are going to change, but do you go and take your life? No. I, I say this and I say this again to a lot of people and they're not going to like it. You know, I was always told, and I believe this to this very day, you take your life, you go directly to hell. Automatic ticket to hell. And I don't care what you're going through on this earth. It will not compare to hell. I'd rather go to jail than to go to hell. Put it that way. A lot of people don't want to go to jail. They did some bad stuff, whatever they did. They might have killed somebody or whatever. And now they're getting ready to take their life because they know they're going to be in prison for a long time. No. You better go to prison and do the time. Because you go to hell, you don't have no choice. You, you know, when you go to jail and prison and stuff, you know, you don't have rights. And they can do what they want to do, supposedly. And they can, you know, tell you what to do and where to eat and when to wake up and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, that's bad. But if you go to hell, you don't have no choice at all. You imagine some demons just biting into you. <laughs> I know that sounds sound bad. I'm laughing because, no, I heard stories of people that have visions of going to hell. And, you know, they were doing things and drugs and whatever. And it was talking about this one girl. She was real pretty or whatever. I can't remember the story. But she was real pretty and she went to hell. And she was just so pretty. But when she went to hell, that was like, it was reversed on her. The demons was like torturing her. Telling her, oh, you think you're pretty, you're pretty, this and that. And it was like raping her and doing all kinds of stuff. It was crazy. Um, it was, uh, it was bad. So you don't want to, uh, and it was biting, up, biting on her and doing all kinds of bad stuff. I don't want to get all into it, but they was doing some bad stuff. So, uh, you don't want to go to hell. So that's my point. Uh, if you, you know, that's my belief. And everybody's not going to believe that. And everybody's going to say, Tony, you're crazy, whatever, believe that. Whatever, you can call me crazy, but I'm going to keep on believing that. And it's just like when I tell you I'm going to build something, I'm going to build this car or scooter or whatever, and I tell you about the components that I'm going to get, and I do it, and it's successfully, it works. I've done a lot of projects that probably will never be seen on video, and they worked. 
and it's because I studied the, the concept and it worked. The same thing is with this. If you study uh, God's word, you know, you go back to this, you know, next year, if I'm still around by next year, 2024 or whatever, I'm going to be so knowledgeable in God's word, more knowledgeable than I've ever been. Okay. Is that my goal? Yeah, it is. I want to be more knowledgeable. I want to learn. I want to learn from other people. Uh, I'm going to learn from people on YouTube. I might learn some stuff from Sister Carrie Ann. I might learn some stuff from the black Israelite, what's the name, uh, Ringo TV. I actually have learned a lot of stuff from him. And like I said, I take little bits and pieces because you may not take everything that they, they're trying to teach you. Just like I might be telling you about some things. You might take bits and pieces from what I'm teaching you. I might say, dang, you might, you might learn something from maybe one of my stories. You know, I tell you about one of my old bro life stories. You might learn something from that. So and that's, where, that's where I'm at right now. I think we're going to end this video. I've been talking too long. But the main thing is get right with the Lord. No matter where you are, we're on the end days. Uh, the day is uh, January the 10th, 2023. Okay. This was the first video I made in 2023. I wanted to make videos a couple of weeks ago. You know, I wanted to make a video on New Year's like I normally do, but I didn't. Oh, well, you're getting it right now. You're getting it 10 days later. You're getting a video in 2023, 10 days later, at whatever time it is right now. It's probably about 5 o'clock almost. Yep, 5.04. 5.04 in the morning, okay? You're getting a video at 5.04 in the morning. And, um... I'm just doing what I got to do. I'm keeping it real. But I know this video has been a little long. But if it helps you out there, great. If you need to turn up, kick, kick, if you turn the video off as soon as you got it on there and it wasn't about what you wanted to hear, that's fine too. But hopefully this video is for someone out there. And if it's not for someone out there, it's also for me. It's for me to get out some of the things that I need to get out. Uh, oh, I'm going to tell you about that story. I don't know. I'll tell you that on another video. I have I've had visions of, I had a vision of, uh, 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 you know, hell too. I had vision of hell. Uh, this was when my mom was alive. Uh, back uh, last year, she was alive last year, 2021. She she passed in October, October 9th, 2021. And I told her about this vision, and I told my dad about it too. Um, I was actually in the prayer room where they had a prayer room at. And I think I was just taking a nap and just kind of out praying. And then all of a sudden, uh, I'll just make it real quick. It was a dream about uh, everyone has a different vision of hell, I should say. Everybody may not get the same vision. And it depends on your mindset. It depends on what you've been through. And, and, and I think everybody has a different hell uh, 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 tortured state that they go through. And I'll explain that later. But my hell was, I was still on earth. Okay, I was still on earth. I, my old house over in Strawberry Manors. Uh, my family was there. And all of a sudden I saw a bunch of guys. It looks like, I don't even know how to explain it. They were either gang members or uh, they might have been gang members. But they were like mobsters. And they just shot up my mom's house and was killing everybody at the house. And I was like down the road and I could see this, but I couldn't interact with it because uh, I'm the kind of person where I'm very logical, but I was shocked and I was um, angry. But I was the kind of person at the time that had some serious skills. Don't ask me how I got these skills. I was like a ninja and I had all these knives and stuff and I was able to just take out a lot of people. Okay. This was a dream. This is not real. I, I don't have that kind of skills. And I had all this, uh, had these skills where I could take out a lot of people, but I knew that that was, that was a done deal. I could tell, you know, he shot the house up. Everybody was like dead. And I was like, I'm going to get them back. You seen those old movies like with the, the guys that they got a teacher and the teacher get killed and the Chinese people, I shouldn't say Chinese people, but you know what I'm saying? Asian. And, um, and like Bruce Lee movies, the old Bruce Lee movies. And then the teacher get killed and he goes back and he wants revenge and he beats everybody all up, the whole school. Okay, it was like that. So I felt like that. And uh, I knew a lot of people got killed. A lot of my family members got killed. And I said, I'm gonna, I've got to get them back. But i got to get them back real slow. 
and I got to get them back the right way. Otherwise, I'm going to get killed. So I couldn't just bust in there with my knives and they got machine guns. I don't care how many knives I got. They're probably going to take me out. So I decided to, uh, I sent someone. I said, we're going to have a, a sit down. That's what they used to do back in the day. The big mobsters used to have a big, they said, we're going to have a sit down. I said, we're going to have a sit down. And uh, it was weird because right there in that same area, it was like a restaurant, like right down the street. And I, I said, we're going we're gonna to meet at this restaurant. We're going to have a sit down. And it was like three guys and they were in suits. That's the way the old mobster days used to be. People used to be, they'd be dressed up. They'd kill you, but they'd be dressed up. So these guys were in their suits and everything and sat down with me. They knew who I was. I was their enemy. There was my enemy. They knew that. We sat down and I tried to smooth everything over a little bit. I said, you know what? I was very mad and very angry, but I couldn't show that. So I was like, you know what? Uh, let's get some food. What do you guys want? Anything. It's on me. You're getting ready to kill somebody. They said it's better to know your enemy. Keep your enemies close. You heard that, so, that old saying, keep your enemies close. So I said, yeah, let's get whatever you guys want to eat. It's on me. And that's what happened. We got ready to eat. And uh, I said, what do you guys want to eat? And I ordered some chicken and pork chops and stuff. You know, yeah, it sounds like me, right? I ordered some chicken and pork chops or something. And I was happy. And they said, they ordered their food. I said, you guys want chicken and pork chops? And they said, no, we don't want chicken and pork chops. And I didn't know what they ordered. But when they got their plate, I got my chicken and pork chops. I was all happy getting ready to eat and they had human heads were on their plates yeah I said it read my lips read my eyes read everything human heads were on their plates and it was blood and everything I said what the heck and when they were eating these heads they were they were like man these are these are good you want some they were eating the heads and everything I was looking at them like what did I get myself into what the heck what kind of people am I dealing with because my thinking started to change a little bit. I said, are these demonic uh, uh, mobsters? What are these? I didn't know what I was dealing with. I knew it was something pretty, pretty, pretty deep, pretty intense. So I, I said, no, I don't want that, man. And I just kind of changed my whole thinking. I, I was kind of scared, I think. And then at that point, I don't know, it's like a scene change, you know, like when you're in a movie, a scene change, and then went from another scene, like you're watching a soap opera or something, and went to another scene. Now I'm out, the, I'm, I'm somewhere, now I'm walking around, but I'm in their, their little world. I'm in their world, and they're, they're, it got me in there. I can't explain it, but they had me in a, a scene changed, and I'm walking down the street, or I'm, at a, I'm, on, a, I'm on a corner, I'm not really walking, I'm on a corner, and all of a sudden this bus just goes by, and it's one of those double decker buses. But it's the double decker buses that are chopped off where you're like a tour bus and you got all these people, you know, looking at you and they're looking at me and they're like saying things and they're laughing and they start throwing human heads out the bus and they're eating human heads and they're biting into them like an apple. They're biting into a human head and, they're, and then they throw it out the bus. I said, what the heck? And I'm like looking around and said, what kind of world am I in? It was like that was a scene change. I was scene one, scene two. Scene one, I'm doing the set down. Scene two, I'm out at a corner and I'm seeing that like everybody in the world, they're eating heads, human heads. So scene two, scene three, it switches to scene three. I said, man, I got to get out of here. I got to get out of this place. I, gotta, I don't know where I'm at. I'm in a different world. And that was my hell. Okay. So I didn't know exactly what, where I was, but I knew I needed my knives. <laughs> I needed some type of protection. I need some type of defense. So I said, I gotta get my knives. And I told somebody, and they said, and somebody said, no, you can't get your knives. Your knives are all locked up. And I was this great knife person that could just throw knives and do all kinds of stuff. And that was my weapons. That was my weapon. And they had all my stuff locked up in some kind of safe, it looked like a lockers or something, but it was like a safe. I couldn't get to them. And I, I seen them, but I couldn't get to it. I was like, oh man. So then somebody asked me, he said, what are you, what, uh, hey, what are you doing? I said, I'm going to go and take a walk because I could tell I was in a demonic. Uh, they were watching me. I was being watched. And it was like demons everywhere. And one of the demons came up to me and, you know, they didn't look like demons. They would look like regular people. OK, but they were not regular people eating human heads. Trust me. So the guy told me, what are you doing? What are you getting ready to do? I said, I'm going to go take a walk. And I was trying to sneak to the area where I first uh, 
realized that it was like a bridge. And when I knew if I went over that bridge, I would be back on earth again. It was weird. But I knew if I went back on that bridge, I would be back in on, on land where it wasn't, uh, I would feel like I was in a demonic city or something. And I knew once I go over that bridge, I'll be back in Strawberry Manors, my old area, earth. Okay. And we'll make a long story short. I don't know I've not made this story long, but I tried to walk to that bridge. I walked to the bridge and I was getting ready to go over that bridge and it was kind of like a like a tunnel. And you had to go through this tunnel. And I was like, okay, I gotta go pat through this tunnel and then I'll be on the other side. And when I got to the tunnel, it was all these demons sitting there. And they were like, I think they were normal at first. And then my, I had a friend, my friend Harry in Vegas, he was like, he was like, man, they're not going to let you go through there, man. I'm like, man, I got to go through, bro. I got to go through. And then all of a sudden, he's like one of my best friends, my best friend in Vegas. And I was like, man, he said, they're not going to let you go through. And I was like, well, I got to go, man. And then he tried to, like, go with me. And they, they put their hand out. They These demons, I think they turned into the real demons or whatever. I can't remember all that part, but I think they did turn kind of real ugly. And they put their hands out, and they had these big giant hands, like alien hands. And they shot out some fire came out. It was like fire, like a fire laser. And it was blue. It was a blue fire laser that came out of their hands. It was real powerful. And it came out, and it shot him and killed him. And I was so mad. That I was like one of my best friends, right? I was like, no, nah, y'all done done it now. Y'all done done it. And they said, you are not going over that bridge. You are not going to go over that bridge. And I said, yes, I am. He said, you're not going over this bridge. Because I, I knew if I got over that bridge, I would be back to earth. So I screamed out. I said, I am going to go back. I am going over that bridge. In Jesus' name, I'm going over that bridge. And I used to always say that in Jesus' name. I'm going to do this in Jesus' name. I'm going to do that. And I knew that that was like, I didn't know that that was the key. But as soon as I said, I'm doing this in Jesus' name. I'm going over that bridge. And if you want to kill me, I was so serious. I was like, you're going to kill me? You're going to take me out? And I don't care. I'm going. And I said, in Jesus' name, I'm going. And when I said that, my hands opened up and the sky opened up because the sky, everything was red at the time. I didn't realize that everything was red, but everything was all red and the sky opened up and I actually heard God's voice. And I can't remember exactly what he said, but it was a big, powerful voice and, he, and you could just hear it. And the sky was opening up. He said, my son, you can, um, I'm my son, uh, uh, I have come for you. I'm, I'm going to protect you. Or something like that. I can't remember exact words, but it was just so powerful when you could hear his voice. He said, my son, I'm come. I will protect you. Don't worry about anything or something like that. And when that voice came down, it was so powerful. You could just hear it. I said, dang. And, my, and he said, I think he told me to put my hands up. I put my hands up. I put my hands up. And, and all that power came out of my hand. It was like laser. It was laser fire. Like laser fire. It was real thick. My, my whole hand, and it was so much, their fire was like nothing compared to my, the fire that came out of my hand. And I aimed it at them. I was burning them all up. I was all happy. It was just demons everywhere. I was burning them all up. I was like I'm smiling, and the sky was opening up. <laughs> I know that sounds weird, but that was, it was not no, uh, it was a vision. It wasn't just a dream. It was a vision. And I, I was like burning them all up, and I was all happy, and I just, it was like a heck of demons, and I was like, and my fire was way more powerful than their fire. And the sky had opened up. It was red, but it opened all up, and you could see the clouds, and it was all beautiful, and you could see the sun. And I was like, oh, man. And, and I heard God's voice talking to me at the same time. Okay, now was, I'm telling you, I ain't never told this story, I don't think, on video. But as soon as I, as soon as I did all that, I was burning the demons up. I was smiling. I was all happy, and then everything came normal again. And I was thanking God, and I was just happy. And when that happened, I woke right up. And when I woke up, I was like, I was just smiling still. I was just so happy and smiling. And I ran into the living room. My mom was here. My dad was here. And I was like, I got to tell you what happened. You're not going to believe this. You're not going to believe this. And I told them the whole complete story. And they were looking at me like, wow, I believe it. It was a vision that I had got. Because, you know, normally with a dream, you don't remember everything. And they say, you should write down your dreams and things like that. I'm going to start writing down my dreams, too. But you might not re remember everything in detail. But a vision, you get it and you retain it. And I retained it. And I still remember it to this very day. This was, this was uh, probably...
probably a year and a half ago when that happened. And I was like, man, I gotta, I wanna be right with God. And that was just, that told me at the time that anything was possible. For me to just open up my hands like that and all that power just came out of my hands. It's, and I was aiming my hands and I was just burning up everything that was around me. Uh, that was more powerful than the knives that I originally wanted to have. That was more powerful than anything I could think of in my mind, you know, having a bunch of machine guns. Probably wouldn't have took these, these demons out, whatever they were. It was so powerful. And their fire that came out was like a blue fire. And my fire that came out was like a big orange fire. It felt like the sun. It was like the whole sun was just in my hand. I was, I was able to just, I burned up all, like all the demons. And I burned up all of them because you see them just exploding. And they were just popping and exploding. And it was exciting. But I knew that the power was from God. It wasn't me. The power was from God. So that's why um, <laughs> I'm glad I made this video. I finally got it out there. I wanted to talk about this a long time ago. And I just kind of kept holding on to it. But like I said, we're in our last days right now. You don't know what's possible. You don't know what's happening. Uh, I still believe in uh, they call them the fallen angels and, and demonic spirits and demonic angels or whatever you want to call it. I believe in all that. I'm telling you. And uh, a lot of people come up with other things and they say this person did this and they committed suicide and they did this and did that. I don't believe that. And I still don't believe that this very day. And I'm not going to get detail into everything that's going on, but I just tell people watch. Just keep watching. And um, artificial intelligence is starting to take over. We're talking about robots and making robots now having babies. I don't know if you guys heard about that. They're going to try to have robots having babies. Okay, come on now. Going too far. They're going too far. That's replacing humans completely. You know, robots. And see, the thing about it is technology is very deceiving. Uh, they come out with so much technology that it, it becomes more, it's a distraction. It's a distraction. And it, it distracts you. But at the same time, I'm distracted by it. Trust me, because I love technology. But I have to have some type of balance. And the balance is telling me, hey, this is what's happening here in the physical world. This is what's happening in the spiritual world. And I wasn't always a spiritual world person. I've always been a physical world and science and went by this and went by that and how things works and the atoms and the electrons. And I always thought about the physical world. But the spiritual world is something that you, a lot of people don't, have never experienced. And I experienced it when I had that dream. Or that vision, okay? Call it a vision. I wanted to say a dream. Um, I've had other dreams too, before that, and I didn't understand all of them. Of course, I may not even understand that one completely. But if it helps you out there, hey, that's all I can do. I want to be able to do things that's going to help some other one, help some other person. And, and uh, a lot of people ask me, even to this very day, about gambling. When I used to gamble all the time, back in the day, they say, Tony, you don't gamble no more. I get, I get people writing to me all the time, and emailing me and on my YouTube channel. And, uh, hey, you don't gamble anymore. Why don't, why don't you gamble anymore? It's because the biggest, uh, well, I'll say the biggest reason why I don't gamble anymore is because I went to God. And I said, take that gambling spirit away from me. Where I don't think about gambling anymore. I don't, you know, it took time. It was not overnight. It wasn't just, ping, you know, we want instant gratification. We want things fast now. Everybody wants everything fast, fast food, fast everything, right? It didn't happen overnight, but when it happened, it happened slowly. And I just prayed about it. Now I don't have the urge to gamble anymore. I don't think about gambling. A lot of people now uh, are, are focusing on their lifestyle, they're focusing on living, but I, I see that life is just getting taken away just like that. So I think that's a, one of the major things that we should be looking at. How valuable is your life? How valuable is your life on this earth? It's not about all your great accomplishments. Sure, everybody wants to have a big legacy and they want to leave things to their family. You know, you want to leave things to your children and stuff like that. I want to do that. I want to be able to leave them money and things like that. But that's not... That shouldn't be the biggest thing, leaving your children, uh, having successful homes and houses and money. People want that, but 
Is that more important in life? Is that more important in your spirit, where your spirit's going to go after you leave this earth? When you leave this earth, heaven or hell? And that depends on you. Heaven or hell? Me? I want to go to heaven. They say that you're going to live forever. And you will. You're going to live forever in heaven or hell. You want to live forever being tortured by demons, by demons doing anything they want to do to you, psyching you out, you know, being, being depressed and miserable. You're talking about mental health. You're going to have some serious mental health. You go to hell, go to, go to hell. You know, you're going to have some serious mental health problems. You're going to be stuff you can't stand, but then you can't take your life because you're going to live on and on and on. And you're going to constantly be tortured by whatever that, um, they're going to torture you with heaven different story heaven we're supposed to get glorified bodies bodies that were are never going to get sick bodies that are going to be able to do extraordinary things you know um i'm believing bodies that you might be able to jump in the air and fly i don't know but you're going to have these bodies that are never going to get sick never going to die they're going to last forever and you're going to be serving god and you're going to be living in mansions right god said i got many mansions you're going to be living in mansions and streets paved with gold. Wow. That sounds pretty good. Sounds better than where we're living right now, right? So, living forever. No sickness, no disease. Maybe being younger. I'm, not, I'm 59 now, but maybe I won't be 59 in heaven. Maybe I'll be in my 20s. Being able to jump real high. I used to like to play basketball back in the day. People jump real high. Be able to fly. I always had dreams about flying. I used to love dreams that I have about flying, just kind of floating, kind of hovering and flying like Superman. Maybe we'll be able to do that. But I know in hell, you might be able to fly too when somebody tosses you around. The demons toss you around. Yeah, you might be flying. <laughs> or you'd be falling down in darkness. Okay, I'm just saying, you got a choice, heaven or hell. So I'm making this video to let you guys know, hey, and I'm no big preacher, pastor, apostle, deacon, none of that. I'm just a man that has got a spiritual awakening. And uh, I want to be able to help other people out there. I don't know everything. I'm going back to my word, just like I encourage everybody to go to their word. I'm going to learn more this year, 2023, as long as I'm here. I'm going to learn as much as I can. I'm going to learn some stuff off of YouTube. I'm going to learn some stuff off of Facebook. I'm going to learn some stuff from this Bible. This is the... Uh, reference point to everything uh, when I build something you might want to you have a reference book or something that you're building from so this is my this is the instruction they call this is the instructions before leaving earth you guys ever heard of that basic instructions before leaving earth so this is a basic instruction I'm going back to that I got upside down I got upside down my, my mama I got on this is a cover around the Bible it says Jesus is Lord Jesus is Lord and she used to tell me be holy all the time she used to, I used to wake up in the morning and help her with things in the morning. She used to tell me, son, be holy. I tell her about cameras and all kinds of stuff. She didn't want to hear about that. She said, son, be holy. That's the main thing. And she's right. She was right. And now I'm, I'm believing she's in a place right now where she's so happy. She's in a place right now where, and I'm not going to say heaven. People always want to say everybody's in heaven. Um, there's supposed to be a, a resting period where you're just resting and you might be floating around, you might just be floating around in some whatever. But she, I, 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 when, I, when, when, when my mom passed, I seen her smiling. She was smiling and she had her eyes, her eyes were open, I think. Her eyes were open and she had a smile on her face and I hadn't seen her like that in a long time. I used to see her sad and sick. She was sick all the time, always sick and kind of mad, had her head drooped down. But when she passed away, she passed away. Uh, laying down in the bed and she was smiling so I uh, that that helped me that actually helped me a lot you know through my grieving we all grieved but when I saw that I was like I don't see my mom sick anymore I don't see her going through all the stuff she was going through she said I'm not she even said she said I'm not going to the hospital no more she said that's the last time I'm going to the hospital because she had went to the hospital the previous day and she didn't go to the hospital no more she knew exactly uh, she knew where she was going. It's like she was talking to God. She was smiling. She said, okay, thank you. Take me. And that's the way it felt. So I want to be like that too. When I leave, that's why I'm making this video. This, you know, 
you may not see me very long. And you, you'll know that, hey, Tony, Tony was happy. I'll be smiling. I'm happy. I'm happy. But um, uh, uh, hopefully I help some people out there. That's the main thing. God wanted me to make this video. And I know it's a long video now. But, uh, you know, it's, it, this video has been long overdue. Everything that I've done in my life, and I can talk about all of the stories, and it's cool to have all these stories and memories and things of different things, but it's not going to get me into heaven. It could possibly definitely get me into hell. It definitely will get you into hell if I just focused on my achievements in life. My achievements have always been something I've always uh, been kind of proud of sometimes sometimes I'm proud of some things and sometimes I'm not proud of some things I did and I think all of us have that and when they go back to mental health it's an excuse I believe it's an excuse you know you don't achieve certain things oh let's just say it's mental health you know you didn't achieve a certain goal you wanted to build this and you wanted to do that or you wanted to uh, get a certain job and it didn't happen okay and the person got depressed and he went and stabbed everybody at the restaurant Let's call it mental health. No. We all have mental health, but we have a choice. And we have a choice to uh, pray. Just sit there and pray. Just sit there and pray. You don't have to know all the words. You don't have to, uh, people think you have to say the same prayer that Jesus said, and it's okay to do that. You know, you can go to the Bible and you can say, to go to, look up prayer and say the same prayer, our Father in heaven, and blah, blah, blah. You can do that same prayer. I just pray about how I feel from my heart. So if you say, thank you, Lord. Thank you for the rain that's coming down right now. Thank you for all this is happening today. Thank you for uh, people's lives. Thank you for the food that I'm eating today. Thank you for whatever. Thank you for a roof over my head and a bed. A roof over my head and a bed. And that's what I do. I don't think, I don't go to, I don't, I don't get too extreme and go, oh, where did this bed come from? Uh, where did this roof come from? Where did I, I just thank you for the roof over my head and a bed. And when you watch uh, The Chosen, it reminds me of that because when Jesus told his disciples to go out and basically he just said, hey, he said, don't take. I don't know if he said this in real life, but, you know, I'm just going from The Chosen from the movie. Uh, he said the the disciples didn't want to go because he, he told them, don't take no extra food. Don't take no whole bunch of clothes. Take one pair of clothes. He said, take one pair, one set of clothes. That's it. Not no extra. I think the clothes that they were wearing. That's what he was saying. Not even another extra set. Just wear the clothes that you're wearing and the shoes that you're wearing, whatever it was, sandals. And he said, don't take no extra food and go out there and preach the word. And he said, you will. <laughs> and for that, that, that chosen is funny. He said, you will be casting out demons. Okay. And when he said, you're going to be casting out demons, people look, the disciples look at him like, we, Jesus, we don't know how to do that. No, that. That's just from the movie. I don't. I mean, from the TV series. I don't know how it was in real life. In real life, you know, I'm sure he, he taught them that. But he's like, we don't know how to do that. What you talking about? We ain't got that kind of power. <laughs> and that's the way we feel nowadays, okay? I think we feel like that nowadays. And we haven't really done the research as far as what God wants for us. We only think about what we want. So... I was like that when I was in this vision, this dream, this vision I had with the guys eating their heads and the demons eating their heads, same thing. I was relying on what I was able to do. I knew how to throw knives. I was real good. I could kill people with knives, whatever. But I didn't know I had power. I could just put my hands up and the power would just shoot out of my hand. I could, I could kill 300,000 demons at one time. I didn't know I could do that because I didn't do the research. I didn't believe enough, but then when I said Jesus' name, I said, you guys are not going to do nothing to me in Jesus' name. It's like the power just came down. God came down and talked to me and said, you know what? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, my son, for representing me. And that's where I am right now. I feel like God's coming down. He's saying, thank you, making this video, representing me, telling people, you know, telling people what you know. It's not about knowing everything, but if you know some things, spread the word. You know, they say, uh, uh, you know, the disciples were supposed to be fishermen of fish. I mean, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. They were supposed to go out and, and preach the word and be men, uh, how do you call it? 
teaching other people basically uh, uh, spreading the word instead of catching fish catching men okay that makes sense like you catch fish instead of catching fish you were catching fish back in the day but now you're catching men you're you're catching their attention you're teaching them you're teaching them the word so do I look at myself as one of those disciples one of those apostles uh, I'm learning I'm still learning can I help people out there? I believe I've already helped people out there already. Uh, like I said, people used to call me about my gambling videos and this and that. If you stop gambling, hey, that, that helped you. Okay, if you want to learn how to build a scooter, that may have helped you. Now I have to help people in a different way. If you want to get closer to God and you happen to start getting closer to God because you've seen this video, well, that helped you. Am I doing it? No. I'm just a tool. And that, when it, that goes back to having the right tools. You know, I'm just a tool. You may learn something from somebody else. You may learn something from me. And you might learn something from somebody else. And we're just tools. We're just tools. Just like when I build my scooter, I use a, a jigsaw and a drill. And those are different tools that I use. I didn't just use one tool to build my Brobility. My Brobility F-150. We'll go ahead and say it. Brobility EV F-150 Mobility Scooter. I didn't just use one tool. Use a drill, use a crescent wrench, use a Phillips screwdriver, a regular screwdriver. I use a circular saw. I use a grinder, a uh, cutter, and uh, the jigsaw. And probably some other tools too, a hammer, I'm sure. So I use all these different tools to build the Brobility EVF 150 <coughs> mobility scooter. Brobility scooter. Same thing. God is using me. I'm a tool. He used me to tell you about one thing, but I've told you about a different bunch of things, but I may not have given you every detail. If I tell you I use a DC motor, 4,500 uh, RPM, that's the uh, RPMs on the motor, and I tell you it's a 48 volt motor, now I'm giving you more details, and now you have to go and to Google or wherever your source is, could be even YouTube, and you would look up that motor and you say, okay, now I see what kind of motor he's using. 1800 watt motor, 1800 watt motor, 48 volts, DC motor, brushless motor. I'm telling you all the details. And now you can look it up. And that's what I did. I saw these guys building go-karts and building scooters and building all kinds of stuff. And I said, yeah, that's the motor I'm gonna use right there because it's not gonna cost me a whole lot of money, you know? so. Could I have built it with a cheaper motor? Yeah, they had some motors like 35 bucks. They had some little 500 watt motors. You can get for like 35 uh, $35. Could have got one of those. I think it were maybe 250 watt motors. Okay. So you decide what type of motor that's in your budget. You decide what tools you're going to use. Could I have used a uh, Dewalt? No. I had a Dewalt saw in, in Vegas and I went in. I got it on offer up. Long story, I paid like twenty dollars for it, and I drove a. I, I went took a bunch of buses just to go get it. I was so happy to get it, and never even, even used it. So to make a long story short, you can have the best tool in the world, and never use it. Dewalt. Dewalt's really good. Milwaukee, Nikita. Those are high end tools. A lot of guys use. A lot of guys are using Ro 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 Roby, Roby, something like that. I can't even think of the name, but there are a lot of people using that tool right now. They say it's pretty good. It's a little bit more inexpensive, but does a job. I'm using HyperTough. Okay, HyperTough is Walmart brand, and my tool case I'm using is Hart. H A R T. Got it at Walmart. One of them little roll tool cases, and you can it got little sections, and you can stack them up. It's all stackable. I need to go get the other pieces too. I got the I got cameras and other stackable parts. Got like a little see-through glass, and you can put all your little t your little screws and stuff in there, and bolts and stuff. I got cameras in that mug. <laughs> but my point is tools. I'm a tool. Use me for whatever you need. Information. Some of my past stories. Maybe the story I just told you about the vision. About the demons eating the human heads and me burning them all up with my hands. It wasn't me. It was God. You know. That was, that's, a, that's one of the biggest things for me right now. That's more important than any camera, any tools, anything I've ever built. 
because it's part of life and it's, it's, it's showing me that where is my life going? Where is your life going? Um, I need to get that information out there. I need to get it out there soon. So we're going to end the video with that. I love you guys out there. Peace and love once, uh, once again. Uh, I love you guys out there. Uh, if you guys do want to donate, I do tell people, hey, please help me out on my channel. Help me out on my projects. You can donate. Help me out on even this video right now. If you like this video and you just want to donate because you like the video, uh, you can go to my cash app. It's cash app dollar sign Tony McDo. I don't have Patreon and all this other stuff. I don't have all this other stuff. Maybe one day I'll put that, put that in place. Um, I don't have uh, PayPal and all that kind of stuff set up. I just have Cash App. So if you're familiar with Cash App, let me know. I may set up a Patreon and all this other stuff later on. But Cash App is the only way I'm able to receive some money right now. So uh, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for seeing the real Tony. We call this Bro Life 23. Okay, Bro Life 23. I think that's going to be the title. Keeping it real. Bro Life 23, something like that. I love you guys out there. Peace and love. Sorry for talking so long. Uh, sorry for talking too fast sometimes. Uh, if you don't understand what I say, sometimes just rewind it back and play it again. That's what I do on some people's videos. But learn from this. And uh, I think the main message is get right with the Lord. Get right with God. You know, uh, pray. Pray. A lot of people say, well, Tony, how did you stop gambling? Prayed. I prayed. I prayed. I prayed. I cried. I prayed. I prayed. So, this book, Basic Instructions for Leaving Earth, this is the Bible. This is not no dictionary. It's not no encyclopedia. This book, I'm going to read some of this too, is going to help you, I think. Uh, a lot of people got the Bible on their phone. There's no excuse. You can have the Bible on your phone. And I say it's a good thing, but it also can be a bad thing if you're connected just to the internet or you only have internet service or you only have Wi-Fi. It could be a bad thing because when the storms come in, like it's coming in right now, the other day we had no power, no electricity, no nothing. And I went right to this. This is a hard copy. Okay? Got upside down. This is a hard copy right here. So that's the beauty of the Bible. And once you get this in your head and in your spirit and you know some things that, you know, a lot of people look at this, oh, it's just a book with old stories. of No, it's not. It's actually the future, especially the Revelations. I haven't even got to Revelations yet. When you get to Revelations, you're going to see a lot of stuff that's happening right now. Like I told you before, they're getting ready to make robots that's going to be having babies. There's a lot of stuff coming that you don't even see. Uh, this mega, what do they call it? Megaverse. Be careful about that. That's going to have some deception in there too. A lot of people are hyped up on the Megaverse where you put the glasses on and you're in VR and you can see stuff that you can't normally see and touch stuff that you can't normally touch. There's a lot of demonic properties in that that's going to be exposed later on, but you won't see it now because you're only looking at the you're only looking at the benefits of what is being advertised to you. And that's one of the things I wanted to talk about. That's going to be another whole video. But I think you guys understand some, some of the things I'm talking about right now. Can't really talk about everything yet. I haven't got all the full information on it myself, but uh, I asked God for a discerning spirit a long time ago, and God showed me, sh has shown me stuff that I have not revealed yet, but he's shown me a lot of stuff, and uh, a lot of things with technology is not always what it seems to be. Uh, so watch, just keep your eyes open on that, but get your life right first. Instead of trying to be a big investigative reporter and all this other stuff and trying to figure out everything, don't try to figure out everything. Just look at your life. Think about your needs, think about maybe your wants and even your desires, but that's not even the most important thing. Think about being right with God. If you're right with God, he's going to be right with you. If you need food, you need food, you need money, you need whatever, he's going to provide that. But sometimes we get ahead of ourselves and we're only thinking about ourselves. We're only thinking about what we think we want or need. And God might have a whole different plan for you. It's like he had a plan for me, a different plan for me. My plans have changed. I had different plans last year and the year before that. And those plans have changed. I can go into each one of them and talk about them, but they changed because life is more valuable than my plans. So with all that said, I'm going to end this. I love you guys out there. Peace and love. Once again, thank you for tuning in. I'm your boy, Tony from Cali. Also Tony McDo. Also, Broses. Broses 2023. 20, 20,
we're gonna do Broses. We're gonna do another episode of Broses 2023, and uh, I gotta change my wardrobe and stuff to be Broses right now. Broses is just a a character that I came up with. That's just part of my branding, and it's not to uh, uh, offend anybody. It's just part of the branding. Just like I have a Brocaster, and I have a Brobility scooter, F-150, and I have a Bro this and a Bro that, and Bros this is just another uh, uh, example of that. And it's not to offend anyone or anything like that, but it's to, um, sometimes it's just about keeping it real. That's what this video is about, keeping it real. It really wasn't supposed to be about technology, but I had to put that in there because it's all part of keeping it real. So once again, I love you guys. Don't hate, don't wait. Donate. Dollar sign Tony McDo. Go to my Cash App. I have a dollar. It's dollar sign Tony McDo. T O N Y M C D E W. We'll put that probably in this video in the description. And um, if you guys want to help out on my channel, you want to just help me and just donate. Uh, that would be that I would be grateful. And um, I'd be thankful because there's things I need to do. I need to pay some bills. I'm gonna keep it real. I still need to. Uh, I got my tires for my scooter. I haven't put them on yet. It is running. It's not perfect. I still got to do some tweaking here. I got to change some uh, wires and stuff on the uh, Brobility scooter. But it looks like it's going to be running pretty good. I, I, I ran it the other day and I just couldn't show you guys. I didn't feel like pulling out cameras and showing you, but we will be making some videos showing you the Brobility F-150 uh, as soon as the storm goes by because the storm is, is, is crazy right now. We got lots of floods and rain and trees falling down. I don't want the tree falling down on my bro, bro ability F E V F one fifty cruiser. I don't want it falling down on me or anything like that. So I'm not going out there trying to kill myself on the bro ability scooter right now. But I will uh, be making some videos telling you guys more about that. And if you want to donate towards that, I still need some some help. I told you that it was a 2022 project. It is a 2022 project, but we're still working on it in 2023 as far as tweaking it, making it better making it more uh i just did the electrical system uh last night i just rewired the whole electrical system on it for the blinkers and the lights and all that kind of stuff and it's, it's nice uh still got to do some more tweaking to it my alarm system i put on there uh i think the internal board the relay i burnt out one of the relays on that so i gotta get another alarm so i'm gonna need some help on that alarm's not that much they're not that much money that's, you guys want to donate like twenty dollars twenty thirty dollars that's fine uh, I think I got that alarm for like $26 and uh, I got to get replace the alarm and that's going to be cool once I replace that. Uh, and there's this little thing. So if you want to donate, help me out on the mobility scooter, uh, help me out on my uh, channel uh, for information. If I've helped you in any way on how to stop gambling, a lot of people want to know how to stop gambling and be watching my channel. Pray. That's my main uh, uh, symptom for stop gambling. Pray to God, really, really, truthfully uh, pray, and prayer really works. Uh, that's what took me from the gambling. And also the fact of, uh, I tell a lot of people, you know, I had to have another hobby. I had to have something to replace that. I prayed, but I started doing other things. I started building scooters and started messing with my cameras and started doing things, doing some photography, something. So you have to have some other hobby that's going to replace that, you know. Because you will have that drive. If you're just sitting around and you're only thinking about money and you want to make money all the time, you want to make money, you're going to want to gamble. You might spend your last dollar. Somebody might give you a dollar, you take it right to the casino. You know, and, and, and I know I used to be there myself. I used to be just like that. Now, if somebody gives me a dollar, I hold on to it. And I might hold on to another dollar, another dollar. And the next thing you know, I get about whatever I get. I hold on to it until I get about $50. And I say, okay, I'm all going to buy these parts for my scooter. Or I'm going to buy these parts for whatever I need to do or I'm going to pay a bill. i got to pay some bills right now. So, like I said, if you guys want to help out, I could definitely use it. i got to pay, you know, my storages. <sighs> it, gets, it gets tough. And I don't have a set income coming in right now. I was working on trying to get, you know, uh, unemployment and disability and all that kind of stuff. Still hasn't happened. So, yeah, if you guys want to please help me out, donate, and I will, uh, it, it will help me. I can help my dad and everything else like I said pay bills that's mainly mainly where I'm at right now so I love you guys out there peace and love once again 2023 don't make too many great plans and and uh, New Year's resolutions and all these things that will that you cannot 
achieve because if you don't achieve them, you're going to probably get depressed and that can lead you into, that's why everybody talks about mental health. Everybody has some type of mental health, including myself. You're, you're, you're taking care of your health. You have mental uh, problems that you got to deal with, but you got to be able to deal with them. I'm going to go get, eat me an ice cream bar right now. Hey, I'm a little overweight. I'm overweight. I'm going to eat me an ice cream bar. Maybe uh, pop a can in there. Uh, 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 I'm looking over there right now. Ravioli. Pop me a can of ravioli. Edit this video. Get this video out to you guys. It's the 10th today. Looks like we might be able to get it out to you guys today. I see how much memory I got on my computer because that's the problem I have. And editing this, it's like a two-hour video almost. <sighs> Too long. But a lot of favorite information. So I love you guys. Once again, peace and love. Uh, some of the videos, a lot of people say, hey, make your videos shorter. Sometimes you can't because... You got to give, you know, it's just so much information. When I watch Ringo TV, Ringo's TV videos are long. He got live videos and I watch uh, Carrie Ann's videos not that long, but Ringo TV is long. I watch it sometimes and it just sinks into my spirit. I get a lot of different things that he says and everything that I say may not make sense or everything I say may not uh, 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 stimulate your mind or whatever, but maybe just a couple things. Maybe the only thing that you got from this video is what kind of motor I use for my a brobility scooter, okay? A brushless DC motor, 45, uh, 45, uh, what do they call it? RPMs, 4,500 RPMs, brushless motor, 48 volts. Maybe that's the only thing that you got from this, this video, but I don't think that's the only thing that you're going to get from this video. And some people might get, okay, get right with God. That's the main reason that I'm making this video is to let people know Get your life right with God. Get right with God. Ain't got nothing to do with all this technology stuff, but the technology is a part of it because it affects our decisions. It affects the way we think. And when you talk about mental health and all this other stuff, and everybody wants to get a 2023 car right now where the car can drive itself and do all these different things, it may not be in the cards for you to have that. It may not be in the cards for you to think about that right now. It's okay to know about it. You know, I might post some videos on some new cars that came out. Like, I love cars and vid and trucks and stuff. I might post some videos on some new cars that came out. They look pretty cool. They do different things. But it's not my main focus. My main focus is God. Being right with God. So, once again, Bible. Basic instructions for leaving earth. Learn. I'm still learning. Keep on learning. Then when it's time for you to leave this earth, you'll be ready. You'll be smiling. You'll be happy. You know, I was telling a lot of people, I mean, if I got hit by a bus or I hit, get hit by a car or I'm in a wheelchair and a car hits me, I drive my mom's uh, wheelchair sometime or mobility chair and a car hit me or something, I just want to be smiling and going, thank you, Lord. I'm ready to leave. Okay? Not sad. I don't need everyone. A lot of people are going to be sad when I leave. A lot of people are going to be sad when some people might be happy when I leave. I don't know. But when a person leaves the earth, we tend to get sad. We tend to grieve. We always grieve. But I'm learning to be happy sometimes about certain people because like when my mom passed, I was sad. But I was also happy for her because I know that she was happy and she will be happy and she is happy. You know, and it's like, I think sometimes we just have to really focus on that, that perspective of knowing something that maybe you never knew before. Somebody teach me how to do something. Uh, I learned some stuff on YouTube the other day, how to do this or how to do that. And then you're happy once you complete how to do that. You're like, oh man, that's cool. Like I made some mistakes the other day. I never really made any mistakes. I made some mistakes the other day that came out good. I was like, that's great. But after I completed it, I was scared at first. I was like, oh, man, is this right? Am I doing the right thing? And blah, blah, blah. And when I did it, I was like, okay. Came out good. Steaks tasted heck of good. I might eat me some steak now, some steak and eggs. <laughs> so anyway, when you learn something, sometimes it makes you feel a lot better. And that can change your mental health right there. Uh, just applying yourself in a different area. Instead of thinking about the casinos and gambling and all these different things, that can stress you out. That can... That can destroy your mental health. That can destroy your life. You go out there and do some stuff that you don't need to be doing, shouldn't be doing, get caught up in something you shouldn't be doing. That can destroy your life. But positively, if you say, okay, I'm going to start crocheting. 
I want to start making some little paper projects. And you got some paper around. Maybe you don't have no paper around, but you say, you know, I got $3. I'm going to go down here to the Family Dollar or Dollar Store, and I'm going to get some paper and some glue, and I'm going to make this little paper projects. And once you complete that paper project, maybe it's one little thing, you might, oh, that's cool. Like I put my uh, letters with my car the other night. I still got to put some more on there. It says Brobility F-150. Brobility EV F-150. I put them on the doors. I put it on the hood. I put it on the back of the tailgate. And then I brought the, uh, I got parts of my car in here right now. I got just the body parts in here. And I took the, the frame and the, the whole unit, drove it over to storage. And uh, it's funny because, you know, just that little thing made me happy. I got the little stickers. I don't need to show you guys the stickers. I'm going to show them to you. But I got the stickers from the dollar store and a uh, family dollar up the street. It cost me $1.25 for the stickers. And I started putting them on there. I was like, oh, these are cool. And I, I was putting them on there. Some of them were crooked. They weren't that great. And I was like, okay, I'll buy some more later, whatever. And I went and bought a couple more. And it just, just starting it, just starting the project. That's what I'm trying to say. Sometimes you start something that's not perfect. But when you start it and then you finish it, you'd be like, okay, okay. I'm glad I started that. And it might not be perfect. And you're always going to get people to uh, criticize you. And say, oh, you could have did this better. You could have did that. Yeah, yeah, whatever. But I did it. I started it. I finished it. It's not perfect but I did it. So don't compare yourself with everyone out there. And that's another thing that I had to do is I had to separate myself from a lot of people maybe that are doing similar things. People that are building electric cars. Well, I build an electric car too. My electric car is just a little smaller than yours. Your car is bigger, mine's smaller. Yours goes faster, mine goes a little slower. <sighs> mine's not even called a car. Mine's called a brobility. Okay, so once I automatically change that mindset that I'm not doing the same thing you're doing. Maybe you build a go-kart. Maybe this guy built, maybe he upgraded his ATV. Maybe he did an ATV conversion. So I'm using some of your uh, 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 information to build something completely different. I'm naming it a Brobility EV, electric vehicle. Brobility EV, F-150. Because we're using a little kit, F T F F one fifty Power Wheels car body, and then it's also a cruiser. I'm not saying it's the fastest thing in the world. I may tell you that it's the world's fastest brobility cruiser, because it is. Who do you know that has a brobility electric EV F one fifty cruiser? Who else has that same thing? That's faster than mine. Nobody, because I'm in a different category. So you create your own different category. You create your own titles. If you want to have a title and you want to be a big mega preacher, whatever, you can create your own title. You can call yourself Bishop, John, you know, Bishop, uh, Apostle, Apostle, Bishop, Computer, Broadcaster. I can create my own church if I want to create my own church. I can create a name for the church. I could call it, uh, I can't even think now, but you know, I would probably call it broadcast or something. It would probably be broadcaster, church of broadcasting, church of broadcasting, blah, 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 whatever. You guys may come up with some names, come up with some names, let me know. But I'm not trying to create a church. I'm just giving you an example. You create your own titles, you create your own uh, 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 category. But I still go to God as my source. I still go to God and say, Lord, you know, thank you for a roof over my head and a bed. A roof over my head and a bed. Thank you, Lord, for a roof over my head and a bed. Thank you for breathing today. Thank you for waking up today. Thank you for being able to go to the store today in the rain. It's rain. Got a raincoat. Put a raincoat on. Go to the store. Get what I need to get. Thank you for that. Being able to walk, talk, see, hear, smell, all these different things. Thank the Lord for the basics because we're not doing that anymore. We're only looking so far ahead, man. I want a robot. I want a robot woman. That's what I want. Oh, wow, those are cool. I want a robot woman. Wow, she can do this and do that. Wow, I want that. No. I want the new 2023 car, the new 2023 truck that's coming out. Man, Ford's making some nice trucks. I want that. I want that bad. And we're focusing on that. And sometimes we're getting distracted so much that the devil can come right in. The devil can come right in. Demonic spirits can come in, whatever you want to call it. They can come in and they can just get your mind and you'd be like, 
you're still focusing. You're looking over here like this. Oh man, I really want that. I really want that. I really want that. I really want that car. 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 It's like you're being hypnotized, mesmerized. I really want that car. I want that Ford. I want that Ford. I want that Ford F-150 2023. I want that. I want the Ford. No. I snap out of it. I snap myself. I say, no. I don't want the Ford F-150 2023. Maybe I'll just get an F-150 2017 Power Wheels. <laughs> so that's what I do. I go back and I think about what's accessible to me, what I can do, what I'm able to do. God gave me the ability to be creative. I said, yeah, you know, I'll just go get an F-150. I didn't care whether it was 2017. It could have been 2005. It could have been whatever. I was like, man, I want that. I've been wanting that little truck for a while. But I couldn't find one at a good price. So I got one. 40 bucks. I was like, oh, I'm getting that. 40 bucks. It didn't even have no motors in there or nothing. I didn't know it, I didn't know it when I bought it. But I didn't care. Because I wanted the body. I didn't care about the motors. We're going to be cut out anyway. It didn't even have a little, it's supposed to have like a steering, uh, what you call it? <laughs> a steering axle that goes down to the wheel. So when you turn the wheel, the thing steered didn't even have that in there. I didn't realize that. When I got it, I said, this thing don't even steer. I just threw that mug on the truck. I used my, tr my sister's truck. She, had, she got a real F-150. I used her truck at the time and gave her like 20 bucks. I was like, hey, here's 20 bucks. Let me use it. Here's $20 for gas. And used it and went and picked up the F-150. Okay? And then now I got my own F-150. I could call it what I want to call it. I can call it a 2023 F-150. But I didn't call it that, did I? I call it 2022. You know why? Because I got it in 2022. But I'm still working on it in 2023. So I can always change the name. There's no uh, laws for me to change the name. I can change it to something else later on. And that's what I'm trying to say. Today's society that we live in, people are changing things. And they're changing them right before you. Right before your eyes. And you're not understanding it. A lot of people are not understanding uh, some of the changes they've made are going to affect you in a way where are affecting you now. So if you're so focused on having a 2023 car or maybe a 2022 car and it doesn't happen and then you get stressed out on it and then all of a sudden you want to take some pills or you want to do something bad. No, you don't need to do that. It goes back to prayer. Pray. Just be thankful for the, the, the things that are more important that we don't think about so much a roof over my head and a bed i can hear the rain coming down right now it's raining it's flooding people's cars are going in the water trees are falling down but i have a roof over my head and a bed i have electricity right now wow i have electricity electricity went out the other night for like three hours we got electricity so yeah, I can get on the internet. I can be distracted by so many different things. I can do a lot of different things. Watch movies and Netflix and all this kind of stuff. But the Lord is saying, talk to me right now. The Lord is saying, boom, get his word. Get, go back to the word. Learn some basic stuff. Read the beginning, Genesis. In the beginning, how it started in the beginning. Talks about, I read a couple chapters. I read like six chapters the other day. And I was like, wow. And talked about Noah and his sons and all this stuff. And these guys were living up to 900 years old. They were like 900 years old. 800, 900 years old. Who do you know that's living 900 years old? Why did they live that long? There was a reason. The reason was population. They needed to populate the earth. And that was one of the reasons. And uh, health was different back then. They didn't have the things that we have nowadays that killed them. They didn't have fentanyl. Fentanyl and all this other stuff. So think about that. I'm going back to those days. And I'm analyzing those things that happened. And I'm analyzing what the apostles went through and what the different men, what they went through back then. And that will help you in your future if you learn some of the past. Same thing with artists. You know, a lot of uh, musicians and stuff, they want to learn from different artists and all this kind of stuff. You know, um, whatever you're into, you learn from other, you learn in different categories. So I've learned how to build things through other guys that build things. I'm always putting out stuff. This guy built this nice car. I like that. This guy did this. I might, I might promote it, but I'm not really promoting it. I'm just going, hey, that's kind of cool. So hopefully you learned something from this video. I'm going to end this video. I've been talking too long. Yeah. Let me see what time it is. Sorry about that, y'all. <laughs> this is like a two-hour video. Okay, it's 6.02. I think I started like at 4 o'clock. Okay, it's 6.02. We're going to end this video January 10th. 602. 
Ringo TV just popped up on there too. I told you I'll be watching Ringo TV. I'm gonna watch what he's gotta say. I gotta do some editing. I gotta do some rendering. That's what's the, my editing is not that doesn't take me that long, but the rendering, and that's because I have a slow computer. So if you guys want to donate so I can have a faster computer, that'll help too. I got an old computer from probably I don't know what year it came from, 2008 or something like that. It's an old Dell computer. It's uh, all in one. I use that. I take the information off this memory card that's coming out of this car, this, this camera, and I pop it in, and then I put it in a Sony Vegas. I use Sony Vegas 13, old version of Sony Vegas, and I just start editing. I put my titles and everything, and it takes like it took like four hours to render last time. This is gonna take probably even longer. So you probably won't get this until later on the day. You might get it like uh, maybe one o'clock, two o'clock in the evening by the time you get this video. But we'll see. I love you guys. Peace and love. Once again, don't hate, don't wait. Donate. Go to my uh, Cash App, Cash App, dollar sign Tony McDo. If you guys wanna do like a Walmart to Walmart and you wanna donate some money and that's the only thing you have is Walmart to Walmart, let me know. And I will give you my information so we can do Walmart to Walmart. Uh, that'll probably help too. I have my ID, you can go put that in and uh, send me some money through Walmart. I need some help with financial situation, keeping it real. But I put everything in God's hand. And God works through people. So I keep it real. You have to sometimes, as I used to say, put it out there in the universe. I don't say put it out in the universe. I always say I put it out there. And God works through different people, touches their hearts, does different things. So I give the credit to God. God controls the universe. God controls everything. So I put it to God, okay? And I'm just letting you guys know. So if you guys want to um, send me anything, thank you out there. Uh, and once again, it's Cash App, dollar sign Tony McDo. Dollar sign Tony McDo and uh, Walmart to Walmart. It's the only thing I can think of right now. Uh, I love you guys. Peace and love. Happy, what's today? Tuesday. Happy Tuesday the 10th, 2023. And we out.